Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, I got a real fun one tonight, really interesting. So, how many of you guys have heard this tune before? I bet you have. Give it a listen. Glenn Miller and his orchestra. That's right, that is Elmer's tune, recorded August 11th, 1941, by Glenn Miller and his orchestra, written by Elmer Albrecht, Dick Jurgens, and Sammy Gallick, but made famous by Glenn Miller and his orchestra, and to a little bit of a lesser extent, Dick, Dick Jurgens and his orchestra. Well, that was a very, very popular song. However, Americans, the British, the Allies, weren't the only ones listening to this song. It got a little bit more attention than perhaps the authors bargained for. More on that in a minute. Let's give a little bit of a listen to these lyrics here. Why are the stars always winking and blinking above? What makes a fella start thinking of falling in love? It's not the season, the reason. What makes a lady of 80 go out on the loose? Why does a gander meander in search of a goose? What puts the kick in a chicken, the magic in June? It's just Elmer's tune. All right, there you go. Good song, as you know. So you may be thinking, well, certainly not the Nazis. After all, this music was illegal in Germany, wasn't it, during World War II? Absolutely, it was illegal. Um, so Hitler's propaganda meister, Joseph Goebbels, had actually outlawed all of this type of music way earlier in the 30s and labeled it um, as music that was not pure enough for the Aryan race and uh, basically uh, pinned its, what he said as its ethnic roots as its downfalling and said this is not music that's pure enough for us. However, swing, specifically American big band music, was extremely popular over there. That's a separate story. But what did the Nazis do? Realizing the power of this music, they decided to make their own swing music, not really targeted at their own people, but broadcast over shortwave and targeted back at the Americans to mock them. So along comes a band called Charlie and His Orchestra, which is a Nazi propaganda swing band. Uh, also known as the Templin Band or Bruno and his Swinging Tigers, uh, Nazi-sponsored German propaganda swing. Now, the guy that led this whole operation was a guy by the name of Karl Schwedler. Karl Schwedler, born in 1902, actually lived until 1970. Uh, ironically, he moved to the United States, if you can believe it, after World War II, uh, much later, I believe. But he was tasked with creating uh, big band music, uh, and so they made some original stuff, but mostly they stole music from popular bands, including Glenn Miller and this song in particular, which we're going to hear in just a minute. Uh, he even traveled abroad to listen to jazz clubs and whatnot, to listen to more music to steal. Uh, the band was actually made of phenomenal musicians uh, who were sort of, this is the only gig they could get in occupied Germany. But I want you guys to listen to this now. We're going to listen to Charlie and his orchestra stealing what you just heard, uh, Elmer's tune. This is their own version called Submarines. I want you to listen for the similarities here. Absolutely astonishing. And before I play this, I want to thank uh, David Fletcher, uh, Dennis Sprague, and others on the Glenn Miller Archive uh, that helped me with a lot of this research um, that I've been doing lately on this. So without further ado, here's Charlie and his orchestra stealing Glenn Miller's music, specifically Elmer's tune, with their version called Submarines. Here it goes. We're going to listen to it on the radio.
the British start thinking of their cup of tea. It's now the season, the reason, explain what it means. German submarines, what makes the sailors go crazy wherever they cruise? What makes the market go down, what frightens the Jews? What takes the kick out the chicken, the pork from the beans? German submarines, listen, listen. Can't you hear the sound? They're never missing. Torpedoes, torpedoes, hitting us day and hitting us night. Who thinks the throne of the tanker, the ship full of meat? Who thinks destroyers and cruisers, the pride of the fleet? It's now the season, the reason, explain what it means. German submarine. is Submarines by Charlie and his orchestra. So if you're fascinated by this as I was, um, you can find uh, this orchestra recorded about about 90 to 100 songs, all of which are obviously public domain, help yourself, uh, available at archive.org, or uh, there's plenty of them on YouTube as well if you want to listen to some of that. Pretty interesting stuff, um, terrifying and sad and uh, laughable, and uh, at the same time, good musicians in there. So yeah, not much is known about Carl Schwedler after the war. He went into hiding, and then uh, uh, at some point, I don't know if he was prosecuted. On According to Wikipedia, there's not much about what happened to him in terms of prosecution for treason like a lot of the other propagandists. Uh, they do know that he moved to the United States in August of 1960, and then he passed into his obscurity. According to uh, an article uh, that was published at the time, he became a successful businessman and retired back in uh in germany i believe in 1973 so there you go hope you guys enjoyed this found it fascinating as always um very interesting stuff nazi propaganda uh from world war ii uh, if you like this i hope you did please 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 hit subscribe share it with your friends share it on your facebook group i would really appreciate that guys definitely appreciate it. if you have any show show ideas or suggestions things you'd like me to do or ideas or if you want to send me records for a review uh, i'd be happy to do that um, just shoot me an email. Information's in the uh, about piece on the uh, on the YouTube page there, uh, or give a comment below. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.